Next, chat, we got some LOL Cal updates. Uh, in particular, your boy, Too Mad, dead as fuck. Uh, dead at 23, investigated as possible OD. So there's a drama with him. I don't know anything about Too Mad, so you're really, you're really just going to have to ex excuse my ignorance on this. You know how I feel about people of melanin, so I'm at a disadvantage here. From what I understand, he was just like a video game player, but he was also accused of being a pedophile. Am I, I, I believe that much is true. There is some contention on if he is or is not actually a pedophile. I've heard comparisons of him being made to uh, the fat guy who's currently dying. Um, and yeah, what's his name? Oh, eat EDP, eat that pussy, phone, phone nine. Uh, that guy, I've heard comparisons made to him who was actually got, got twice for trying to solicit sex from an underage person. Um, as far as too mad, I, I don't know the context. I just believe that it was related to Keemstar really furthered the rumor. And, uh, I think that Kethel's even talked about this in context because Keemstar has a habit of calling people pedophiles randomly. He called some random grandpa who dresses like as the old man and plays RuneScape. And that was like a lie. I'm pretty sure he just lied and didn't ever apologize for it. So because he plays RuneScape and he dresses up like the, the old man from RuneScape, therefore he's a pedophile. Um, and he still gets shit for it, which is a, a fucking a nightmare. Uh, Too Mad might have been the same thing. Is, no, the old man's not dead, is he? No. What? Really? Oh, no, he died in 2022. Wow, that's tragic. So fucking Keemstar called this guy a pedophile just because he's like an old man that plays RuneScape, and now he's fucking dead. I didn't know that. So that like like Keemstar said about him haunted him until his fucking grave, literally. Um, and then I don't know about Too Mad. I don't know if he did it or not. However, I, I will uh read some things said about him after his death. Uh first off, this guy actually this is a quote directly from him in his his uh Discord says in December, for some reason I keep falling feeling like I'm fucked, but I quit ketamine today. Yeah, therap at a lot. L O L. Yeah, wait, I'll just read what he says, too. Good shit, man. Have you ever talked to anyone outside of the internet? And then he says, yeah, therap a lot. I guess confirming that he goes to therapy. Technical says, that's great news. You're still relatively young, so I want you to be able to keep your head on straight and continue growing. Two men laughs, and he says, yeah, prop sounds corny, but your schizo post and ketamine usage can be genuinely worrisome. I'm just glad you're doing good right now. He says, yeah, I have friends over here right now. So he's, he's apparently is doing okay, but he is, like, addicted to ketamine. And then uh, it, w it was found that he was literally like slumped over his computer playing Overwatch, like at the time that he dies. Um, wait, wait, that's out of order? No, it's not. Okay. Um, oh, it's it's part of this part here. They show him playing Overwatch for five days in a row because he died uh, of ketamine at the computer table. He like slumped over from ketamine playing. He he got he got wrecked so bad playing the shittiest fucking first person shooter out there right now, and it it literally killed him. It, it caused him to overdose. So there's this ongoing drama with James Gay. I'm gonna need my chat to help me understand this retard shit. So as I mentioned, Two Man had this reputation of possibly being a pedophile, but it could also just be some bullshit that Keemstar made up because Keemstar loves to make shit up. Um, But he says, I can finally say it. Too Mad was a rapist and a pedophile. Over the past few years, he tried to murder me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things he's done. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head on the freeway while being high on illegal drugs. He didn't succeed once as he overdosed before killing anyone, so he tried again. Despite him trying to murder me in multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe, doesn't get hurt, and doesn't harm anybody, which sounds like fucking bullshit. If uh, someone was trying to threaten me, I would not be on Twitter like, I'm making sure that I'm helping him as I report them to the police. I'd be like, nah, nigga, you dead. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you dead, motherfucker. So that, that immediately raises a red flag that this guy is insincere as fuck. 
Please remember that he's a rapist and a pedophile. He continued to prey on vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in a mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess, and the reason why I ended up in ER. Please help give me time. So this guy is also extremely mentally unwell to the point where he puts himself in five... What, what's the name of the California code? I'm going to assume that he's in California. There's a Derek Bentley, Bentley, I think his name is, Derek's Bentley song. It's like 5150, somebody called the po, po. It's like that. He 5150'd himself <clears throat> because he's so, so sad. Now, this is confirmation of his death, uh, Mudia Sadiq. And that is, that sounds like a meme. Like... <laughs> Have you ever heard of Sadiq? Sadiq, these nuts. Something like that. Something really immature. <laughs> um, Gabroni, who I don't know, says, Some news site are reporting that two men died last night. I just verified he's on the coroner's website. It's deceased. Just went over that. Um, oh, he continues. These recent allegations, referring to Jabraski, says, uh, The recent allegations, court cases, restraining orders he was getting into were dark, and it was tragic it ended this way. I know he hurt people, but when I was first starting out on YouTube a few years ago, he was nice enough to answer my messages to give me advice. We talked intermittently. When two men was at his best, he was creative, funny. You never knew what he was going to say or do next. It was refreshing. I think after he moved to L.A., things began to change. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a dark hole. That nobody escapes out of. You think, oh, I'll just go to L.A. and make all sorts of money. Everyone does it. All my friends there. What What's the worst that could happen? And then they end up getting, like, arrested for being pedophiles and uh, dying of ketamine overdose. But he continues. I started posting videos less, started using substances more, and seemed like he lost his passion for YouTube. I didn't talk to him much during this time, but he allowed me to interview him along with Achi2 after the recent lawsuit. The goofy guarded Tumad was still there. The one who never gave a straight answer or took anything serious, but he, the real person was still there just under the surface. We got to talk to him a little bit. I'm sad to say that the real person behind Tumad, Mudia, is gone. He was a troubled person, but had so much potential, blah, blah, blah. Um, one of the last things I said to man was about his ketamine problem, and I really thought it was turning around. I can't believe what I'm reading. Uh, Rubber Ross at Rubber Ninja says, This was a lot. I witnessed firsthand two mads of threats on James' life during TwitchCon. He couldn't even go home because he knew his address and he was on route to Vegas after threats. He would have to use the motel room to hide out while waiting for law enforcement. Uh, There's another long ass fucking post by this guy. Uh, when my friends and colleagues say that my life was in constant danger, they're not talking about just threats. Within a short time frame, I had a bullet hole put in my office window, was told to wear a concealed bulletproof vest when I'm in public, witnessed SWAT team with ballistic shields outside my home, and had to cooperate with anti-terrorism units when the rapist made implications of people's lives being in my control at TwitchCon, leading to this entire convention center being surrounded by police SUVs. This isn't even all the things I and my colleagues and Clintons had to endure, just to get perspective. I don't think I need to explain why I'm not talking about it publicly, but if multiple people coming coming forward confirming what I said isn't true enough, a lot of information is on public record and can be accessed by anyone. Um, useful Mistake, who is very interested in legal stuff, did actually go and get the court records to show that there was a restraining order that was issued um, on May 12th, 2023, against Tumad. Which he could have done himself, but he didn't for whatever reason. Uh, there was never a lawsuit at any point. There were court orders that led to multiple cases. Once again, there has never been a lawsuit. A lot of things like these public re records have always been. It was never about money. He lied to the public. And some ones ate it up. Um, has been caught destroying evidence, sending death threats to witnesses, and fabricating stuff to brainwash his audience. The judge shut down his lies during the hearing, and all of this is public record. Uh, just remember this guy got caught hiding in the court's cafeteria when he realized that he would get to see one of his victims in person again. This is the same guy who was dancing on the grave of a murdered child just a year ago. Same guy who secretly recorded multiple videos of him committing crime, including sexual assault and pointing a gun at one of his victims. He shared those videos with his friends, but was mortified to find out the court had gotten a hold of him. This is public record once again. Um, one of the things that so one of the things that people said is that. A bullet hole in your window in L.A. is not really evidence. That's just like par for the course. You can't really say that a bullet hole in your window when you live in L.A. was created by anyone in particular because that just happens. 
if you live in LA, the chances of your window collecting a hole created by a projectile is like almost a hundred percent after a couple months. Uh, so that was dismissed by critics. The other one was, if you look at the document, one of the things he submitted as evidence of harassment and threatening was a video that Tumad had posted on the internet of him using a gun to kill a spider with. And he said that uh, Tumad was deliberately posting pictures of him with assault rifles in order to instill fear and obedience in his victims. But the issue was that it was an airsoft rifle, um, and the guy that filmed the video confirmed that it was an airsoft rifle and Tumad didn't, wasn't carrying a gun. But that did get filed in the court as evidence of harassing behavior because... Um, it looked like a gun, I guess. Uh, so I don't know. This is a little bit complicated. I don't want to make any determinations. I don't want to put my strong reputation on the, uh, this is the same thing I read in the beginning. Sorry. Um, on the line in defense or against too mad, but these are, these are the, the ongoing happenings chat. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!